3D is hot right now in design and Vectory is a tool aimed for designers to simplify the process of creating 3D images so that you can do it even if you're not a 3D expert. In this video, I'm gonna cover my first experience working with Vectory and what I think about it. Enjoy. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another segment of Weapon of Choice where I'm covering the best tools that I like to work with to get my design work done. And today, actually trying a new tool. This, and I'm gonna show you kind of like my first experience using that tool, which is Vectory, Vectori, Vectory. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name of this product, but I actually got an email from the founder of this company it's telling me, I saw in some of your case study that you like using 3D in your designs, which is true. I've, I've showed a few projects that I work with, Yambo 3D artists that I really like to get some really awesome 3D in my web design. And he said, you know what? You could actually do that yourself if you try, try our tools. So I went in there and I, I tested it. And first I wanna show you their website. Basically what they're saying here is that this is the easiest 3D design tool um, that you can use. And they're basically showing uh, a lot of use cases why designers should give this tool a try, such as you know creating awesome mock-ups, creating great typography, you know, using it for logo design, uh, in your web design. And they're giving you a lot of, you know, use cases for how you can use really awesome, you know, awesome 3D. And I think this is really true. You know, uh, I think tr 3D is trending right now because people are kind of fed up with Stoke photos. And, but the thing about 3D is that usually it's really hard to do or you need to have some kind of an expensive software like Cinema 4D and it takes a lot of kind of a knowledge gap into you know how to use those tools and and then rendering so it's a lot of process and that's basically why I use experts like Yambo to get this work done I was saying let's give it this is kind of an online tool you don't have to download anything so I want to show you I can actually screen record it for the four, first 40 minutes that I actually used this tool. So let me run through them quickly and show you how that looked like and what I was able to achieve in the first 40 minutes when I tried this tool. So first of all, yeah, I signed up. Um, then the, in the first project, they're kind of taking you on, on, on onboarding where it's kind of like a mini tutorial where they're showing you how to use the tool really simply. It's really, by the way, an awesome first user experience really well done onboarding, teaching you, you know, how to change textures, how to move things around, how to do the render. Um, and then by the way, when you get to the render, um, the thing about this here, here's the first render um, that I did with their kind of a dummy project. Um, you can do the render, but if you want to download the image, you have to um, sign up for their nine, $9 per month plan, um, which is kind of annoying for the first user experience that you can't really just download a test image, uh, but you can see it. But then what I discovered is that they have something really, really cool, which allows you to actually embed the 3D in your website. So basically it generates some kind of a code um, that you can then put in your website. So I really quickly went into Webflow, created a new website and put there um, this kind of like an embed code. Let me just move quickly through that. So I've pasted the code that they've gave me here into Webflow, published the website and turned out how that looked like. So that now is a live website. This is my 3D test project. Um, and you have a website with like really live interactive 3D in your website. This is obviously you can remove this made with Vectory and that stuff if you're on a premium account, but this is really cool. And this was done in like one second. So this is a really cool feature, something that I don't know that I could have done that, you know, previously. Um, and they're claiming that they're, they, it can be used for AR or all kinds of like really nice things. So that was the first awesome thing to try. Then I wanted to see if I was like, okay, let me give this a try and see, even though I don't know the software, I'm not an expert in 3D, I wanted to create my, my desktop. Let's see if I can recreate my desktop. So I was like taking a box, resizing it to be something like my desktop. Then they have a library, which is really awesome because you can just look up stuff like, 
I just looked up for a screen, found a screen, positioned it, looked for a keyboard, uh, positioned it, looked for a laptop, positioned it. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me see, because I have this thing holding my, my MacBook, you can't see it here, but it's kind of like a shaped metal thing. So I wanted to see if I can take a box and kind of shape it that way. Um, that I kind of struggled with for a little bit. Um, I discovered that there is a bend function here, um, here a deform, but I couldn't get this to work. So it took some experimentation until I understood how to do this by changing here the bend angle, but eventually I was able, as you can see, to change this and put this, this is more or less something like I have on my desktop. Um, so then I was like, hey, let's create the podcast microphone. Um, but I was too lazy to, to add all those things here. Um, then I was like, let's put a screen, an image on the screen here. And then I was like, okay, let's try to render this. So as you can see, and this is something that was created, um, I'm like 24 hours, 24 minutes just after starting to use this software and registering for the first time. So I was just basically playing around. Uh, I was like, let's import the, my logo, the logo of the Flux channel, and put it in there and try to experiment with some textures. Um, I wanted to see maybe I can do glass or all kinds of transparent um, textures. Not all of them worked really well. Um, and just playing around with that. But basically, let me, sh this is, more or less the final render that I came up with after playing around with the software for about 40 minutes in total, just experimenting and playing around with that. Now, obviously this is not something incredible, but I think that it really shows you that it's really, really simple to create something that I can literally use for, you know, Instagram posts or Facebook posts to kind of do like for the ads, maybe that I'm creating for the Webflow Masterclass or something that I can create really cool uh, compositions with that. And it's really can open my, my mind and my ability to do stuff myself really, really quickly. So I think it actually is going to be one of my tools that I will be experimenting with in the future. One thing again that kind of annoyed me, it was that, you know, you're on a, if you use this, you can use this for free um, and create your projects and experiment with that. But if you want to actually download the image, um, then you have to pay them. Um, so I guess I'm not gonna be on a subscription long if I only gonna try and use this every once in a while. But I guess that if I do have like several images that I want to render, then maybe I'll sign up, download them and cancel or something like that. Um, I'm not sure that this subscription model is gonna work for me at this point, but it's definitely a tool that I wanna have in my arsenal. And then it's not as heavy as downloading, paying for something huge like Cinema 4D, learning how to use Cinema 4D. This is really, really something lightweight that I think a lot of designers can benefit from and create awesome composition, either for the web design or social media posts or, or websites or stuff like that. So. Hope this was used for you. Give this a try. I'll put the link of Vectoray in the description below. Let me know what you think about this. Send me some stuff that you did with it so I can see what you've been able to achieve. And I'll see you on the next video.